This video is for our UK users where we're going to look at how to create an MTD making tax digital VAT return in zero. Let's head into zero and I will show you how. From the dashboard we choose accounting, we choose reports and then we scroll down to the tax section and we choose VAT return. You can see here that it has a blue star which means it is a favourite. So in this instance because I've favourited it I can go to accounting and I can go straight to my favourite report section and choose VAT return. At the bottom of the screen we see any previous VAT returns that have been done and we could review them if we needed to. There's some COVID-19 information here, that's because we're in 2020. And then it's asking you to select the VAT return. Now it knows it's an, we're in the accrual system and we're quarterly. If we need to change that, edit takes us into the financial settings. The dates have been picked up automatically because it's quarterly. The last one ended in August, so we've got September, October and November. And all that we do is we go to create. Our VAT return is here and we can see that automatically late claims have been included. So if there's anything that was missed in the previous return or any corrections with earlier dates, they will be picked up. So it's very straightforward. On the screen we see the VAT boxes and we see the information. If for any reason we need to adjust them, we have that option. Before heading to finalise our VAT return, we would want to look at the backup. We've got two options here. We've got transactions by VAT box or transactions by tax rate. Transactions by tax rate is similar to what you had prior to MTD days. So we'll select that and we just can look at this on the screen and we can scroll down. So here we see 20% VAT and income. We can look at that. We can see everything that's been included. And then we can see zero rated EC and then we can see 20% VAT and expense. So it's not difficult to scroll through this and look at everything, check in to see if anything looks okay. If it doesn't, you can investigate. Okay, so the other backup you can look at are the transactions by VAT box. So here you have box one and it'll show you what's gone into box one. Scroll down and we'll see the other boxes. So we've got box four. It gives you an explanation of what that box is and again we can see what is included. If you want to export your report you have two options export to Excel or export to PDF. Let's just take a look at it as a PDF file. Okay the first page we can see is the information that goes onto the VAT return box by box. Then we can look at the reports that we've already reviewed, so transactions by VAT box. And if it's easier to review on a PDF, then that's what I suggest you do. You can quickly scroll down looking at all the transactions that are feeding into your VAT return. It's quite a lot, but once you know what you're looking for, you can do it quite quickly. We are at page 9. When we get to page 10, it changes from the transactions by your VAT box to transactions by tax rate. So there we have 20% VAT on income. Again, scrolling down, looking at everything, checking that it's all okay. And we're down to the bottom, page 15. So that's the PDF. If you prefer to export it to Excel, you can. So once you're happy with this, you can finalise your VAT return and then you can submit to HMRC. If you liked my videos, as always, please let me know that you like them. Why don't you subscribe to the channel so you get notified when new videos are uploaded on a regular basis. Until next time, happy zeroing!